This is Guilherme Trevisan, and in this video I'm going to show you how to install my script collection, GT Tools. You can find all the links for it in the description below. So of course, the first thing you want to do is download the script collection. This is a compressed file, so you want to extract its contents or just open with any data compression program. For example, I'm using 7-zip here. Then you want to navigate to where your My Scripts are, usually located on this path that you can see on your screen. Now just extract all the files into your scripts folder. We don't need this readme file since this is just an explanation on how to install it. Now go ahead and restart your Maya. And that's it. Now you should see a new menu called GT Tools. And I hope these scripts are helpful to you. Now, let's see how to update to a new version. You can see here that I have the version 1.4.2, but when I click on check for updates, it tells me that there's a new version. So let's download the new version and install it. So go to your scripts folder and let's delete the old files. It should be easy as all of them start with gt underscore, so you can just search for it. Make sure you delete all the files, especially this pyc files, as these are the ones that Maya will try to read. And now it's easy, you just extract the new version into the scripts folder. Now I'll restart Maya. And you can see that you have the newest version installed. Now, how to install it if you're already using your user setup.mal for something else? If this is the case, just download all the files. And instead of copying all of them there, don't include the user setup.mal. The user setup.mal gets executed when Maya opens. So, in case you want to have the menu whenever you open the program, you just have to include a little line there to make sure that it, it creates the menu. So you can see I opened uh, the user setup.mal using any text editor. In my, my case, I'm using Notepad++, but you can just, just use Notepad. It should work in the same way. So just add the same line that you can see on my screen and save it. Now just restart Maya and you should see that, that now you have the menu.